Hi there, this is Miss Nelson again. We are doing lesson 3.3 in our fourth grade Florida Go math book, which is called Area Models and Partial Products. So we're going to be learning how we can use models to help us solve some bigger multiplication problems. So we get to draw today. So they're giving us in this example the problem 13 times 18, and they want us to use a model to solve that. So first of all, in your grid, you would do a model. You would draw a square that goes down 13 and across 18. So like that, but hopefully better than mine. So then we're going to break up these numbers 13 and 18 into some smaller easier to multiply numbers so whenever we can we want to break it up into tens so 13 would be 10 plus 3 and 18 would be 10 plus 8 so if you put those together it would still be 13 times 18 but this is just going to make it a little bit easier for us to multiply so if we draw the 10 line and the 3 and the 8 line it will look like this now so we can see since we have four boxes we're going to have four multiplication problems the first one is 10 times 10 10 times 10 is a hundred so we can put our 100 there the second problem that we'll do is 10 times 8 which is 80 so we can put our 80 there. The third problem is 3 times 10, which is 30. Put our 30 there. And the last one is 3 times 8, which is 24. So we can put our 24 here and here. So now I had four simpler multiplication problems they gave me these answers which we call partial products so they're part partial of our whole answer so the way that we find our whole answer is just to add these together so 100 plus 80 is 180 plus 30 more 190 200 210 plus 24 more is 220 234 so 234 should be our complete answer so I was just adding all four of these together 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2 13 carry my 1 1 plus 1 is 2 that's how I got my 234. So you can see that drawing an area model like this and breaking up our numbers into smaller, easier to multiply numbers can really help solve bigger multiplication problems. So this is another way to solve a multiplication problem. Another strategy for you to use. Okay, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message. Thanks.